move our stuff right. up. Dory, I'm going to mute you here. Okay. So here's what we're doing. This morning, happy Saturday, everybody. First of all, this morning, we are going to do 30 seconds on, 15 seconds off. Uh, and there's three sets of exercises. So we're going to do the alternating reverse lunge for 30 seconds, and then the lateral bound for 30 seconds. And then we'll go back through each one of those two more times. So each pair, we're going to do three times each. Okay. Uh, in my video here so yeah each pair we're going to do three times we're going to go through each of the three pairs three times and then we'll go back through and do each one twice okay so it takes about about five minutes per pair the first time through and then about three and a half minutes each each other time so um looking at probably about 30 to 35 minutes today and we'll call it a Saturday. Okay, so um, just to get started here, the whole family's here with me this morning, rolling out, getting ready. So let's start off on the roller just like uh, usual, especially as we go on here. I don't know about you guys, but I'm finding myself more stiff and sore even. So um, rolling out and getting properly warmed up is, is really important as we get going or as we continue these circuits. Um, so let's start the roller at your lower body. And you're working your way up. Yeah. Okay, so starting off on your calves, rolling the back of your calves. And let's pretty quickly move up to the back of your legs. So now you're rolling out your hamstrings. Good, go ahead and sit on top of the roller. If you don't have a roller, that's okay. You can use uh, any kind of ball you have around your house and can serve the same purpose. Or especially when we're talking about your hips, you can really just sit on the floor and uh, get a good roll. So rolling out your butt. You can cross your ankle over your knee if you need to get more of a stretch. Okay, and uh, let's uh, let's roll over onto your side. So you're gonna put the roller next to you. So you're gonna put the roller parallel to you. So if you need to roll over on your side, put the roller up under you. So you roll it on your side, and we're gonna roll out your groin here. One knee comes up. The higher your knee comes, the better the roll you're gonna get on the inside of your leg. So we're rolling out the inside of your thigh here should be able to kind of relax into this because you are lying on the ground mostly. All right, let's go ahead and switch sides. Just roll it on over to the other side. The reason we roll, just remember, is to, to keep your tissue health um, good you're actually helping to hydrate everything all the squishing around helps to to move the muscles over each other keep them moving really well so if this isn't something you do daily it probably should be keep you moving better and uh, keep a lot of the soreness out of your soreness and stiffness out of your muscles okay good let's go ahead and uh, stay on the floor I'm going to put the roller behind your shoulder blades, so just underneath your shoulder blades. And then we're picking your hips up. We're going to roll back and forth along your or over your shoulder blades. Yeah. And good. Go ahead and rest your, relax your hips on the floor. So you can put your hips on the floor. You're going to leave your back on the roller. But let's pick up one arm and rotate to that side. I know some of you checked out the uh, bumpy rollers. If you have a bumpy roller, you're going to think about putting your shoulder blade right down one of the grooves. If you don't have one, then uh, it's all the same everywhere. Yeah, this one can be a little painful. 
All right, let's roll over to the other side. Raise that other arm, rolling over to your side. And relax, good job. Okay, uh, let's stay on the floor here. Stay on the floor, move the roller off to the side. Uh, just laying on your back. Okay, we're gonna give one knee a hug. Press your hips up towards the ceiling. We're gonna do 10 hip presses on each side. So make sure you're using your butt cheek here, not arching your back. So you shouldn't feel like you're getting tightness in your back here. You should be getting more uh, work with your with your cheek. Good morning, Diane. Good morning. Nice to see you. <laughs> or not see you. I can't see you. Once you get 10 on one side, let's switch 10 on the other. Uh, when you're done there, let's roll over onto your side. We're going to do a side plank. You can either do that side plank from your knees or from your feet. If, you're, if you've got your knees bent and your uh, knee on the floor rather than your foot, it's going to be a little bit easier. Okay, so let's go ahead in 15 seconds and up. So we're just holding this side plank, getting everything warmed up. Even if you usually do a straight leg plank, it's okay to do the two leg, the uh, bent knee, bent leg one in warm up here. All right, let's switch sides. Rolling it over and up. Just a 15 second plank here. Think of your very best posture, just fell on its side. Okay. Good. All right. Um, let's come up to that push-up position. We're going to do the Spider-Man stretch. Um, actually, all three of the Spider-Man stretches. So uh, you're going to be in a push-up position. Bring that foot forward. Foot flat up next to your hand. Nope. Yep. Foot comes up flat next to your hand. Your foot should be pointing straight forward. Good. So we should be feeling the stretch up underneath your uh, up underneath your leg here. All right, now let's straighten your front leg and push your hips up towards the ceiling. You can use your foam roller here if you want to put your hands on your foam roller. That'll help. Really push that heel down behind you. Try to drop your heel towards the ground. Okay, and the last part of this, we're going to bend your front leg. And let's rotate your chest. So you're going to open your chest up towards your forward leg. And point your fingertips at the ceiling. Good, go back to that push-up position and we switch legs. So bring your other leg up next to you. Your uh, knee should be outside your armpit. Just getting that stretch there. And straighten your front leg. Try to drop your heel back. <laughs> and bend that front leg again. Pick up your hand or uh, point your fingertips at the ceiling, rotating toward the knee that's forward. So your chest should be facing the knee that's forward. If you don't point your toes at me, point all your toes at me. There you go. All right, and let's do the same thing two more times each side. So you can take yourself through it here. So we get that stretch up front, straighten your front leg, bend it again, and rotate into your front leg. And we switch. Straighten the front leg, bend it again, and rotate. You know, when you straighten your leg, you're supposed to be getting a stretch in the back of that leg, but you are. You've got to work on that, too. Last time. Straighten it. Bend it. And turn. Hands on the same shoulder. Your hips up towards the ceiling. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Good. So as we uh, 
get going here. Let's go ahead and stand up. So you're gonna bring your one leg up, you're gonna give it a hug, and we're just gonna alternate, kind of a march here. Just alternating, bringing those legs up, give them a hug. So you're gonna pull up, up with, uh, if you're raising your right hand, right leg, your right hand is gonna go on your knee, left hand is gonna pull your shin across your body. So you should get a stretch in the outside of your hip here. And good, bringing that foot up and or bringing one knee up in front, you're gonna push in. So you're using like your hip flexor and you're using your abs and you're using your arm to push your hip knee down. So you're pushing your knee down and then we're gonna step back into a reverse lunge. Pushing that knee down, take that same leg, step back into a reverse lunge. Keep your toes curled under, don't put your shoelaces on the ground. There you go. We're gonna do this six times and then switch sides. So as you bring your knee up, we're working on a little bit of balance, a little bit of core strength there. Just kind of getting your hips warmed up, ready to balance. Once you get six each side, we're just gonna go feet out wide. Feet out wide, just squatting down to each side. <coughs> Let's do 10 times each side, just working back and forth, alternating. Start to open up your hips. Okay. All right, so we're ready to get moving here. Uh, like I said, we're gonna go through each pair of exercises uh, three times. And then we're gonna go back through the, uh, the circuit doing it twice. So we're gonna do 30 seconds of alternating reverse lunges, take a 15 second rest, and then we're gonna do 30 seconds of lateral bound. So jumping back and forth to the lateral bound is that skater jump where your feet, um, toes are always point forward. You know, we push and land, push and land, push and land. So we're going 30 seconds there. That can be a step side to side. The most important thing is that we're sticking that landing, okay? So that's the uh, lateral bound. We'll do that for 30 seconds, rest for 15, and then we'll go back to the reverse lunges, okay? So use a weight or body weight for the reverse lunges modify however you need to in terms of weight or the depth that you're going and uh, we'll go from there. So getting started with reverse lunges and lateral bounds. Okay, everybody got the weight that you need? Okay. So 30 seconds of reverse lunges, ready, and here we go. Halfway there. And relax. 15 seconds rest before we go into the lateral bounds. Ready, and here we go. Landing is most important here. Toe to ankle. So as you jump, you're not shooting your leg behind you. You're just gonna go toe to ankle. 10 seconds left. Three, two, one, and relax, good. Okay, back to reverse lunges. Tough set here, lots of lower body stuff.
Ready? And go. Make sure those knees are staying out over your pinky toe. As you lunge backward, don't let your knee come across towards your midline. 10 seconds left. Time. Hmm. Lateral bounds are up. Do you want to do your cue? And here we go. Lateral bounds. Halfway there. Three, two, one, and relax. Good, going into the last set of reverse lunges here. Remember your choice on whether you use weight or not. Ready? And go. Let's still stay out here if you want. It's up to you. Halfway. Five seconds. Good. Last set of lateral bounds coming up. Ready? And go. Halfway, making sure shoulders stay square, shouldn't be tipping side to side. Five seconds. And relax. Those were your best ones, baby. Good. Okay. So we're through the first group. Next pair of exercises will probably be a little easier on the wind, but harder on local muscles right so you get muscles more fatigued rather than heart rate up okay next two push-ups and row hold all right so 30 seconds of either push-ups modified push-ups or just a push-up position hold okay and the row hold you don't need any equipment for this today row hold is going to look like this knees are bent feet are flat you're going to drive your elbows down through the floor like you're trying to lift yourself up Okay, so it's gonna be just elbows pushing down against the floor, like you're trying to lift yourself up off the floor. Okay, and just squeeze, hold, and push as hard as you can for those 30 seconds. Check in to make sure your belly's strong, your hips are gonna be on the ground, and we're just pushing as hard as you can. I guess you can raise your, you can raise your hips here. It might give you a little bit better angle. So we're just pressing down into the floor. Nice and strong across your back. Okay, but the push ups will come first. We'll get those started in about 10 seconds here. Three, two, one, and 30 seconds. Here we go. Ten seconds. Two, one, relax. Good. Rolling right over. Five seconds. 
Remember, you can press your hips up here if you need to. And here we go. Pushing that floor away from you like you're trying to pick your shoulders up off the ground. Nice, strong back. Belly nice and strong also. You might start to feel a little bit of cramping in your shoulder blade muscles. That's okay. It's good that we're using them. 10 seconds. If you catch yourself sort of slumping a little bit, push down into the floor, try to lift yourself up. And time, good. Okay, back to push-ups in five seconds. Two, one, here we go. Five seconds left. Sorry, ten seconds left. And time. Let's roll it over. Five seconds. Make sure your knees are bent. Feet are going to be flat on the floor here. Ready to go. Pushing down like with your elbows, like you're trying to push your chest up to the ceiling. Push up and hold. If you had a scale under your uh, shoulder blades, you'd be trying to keep that scale reading about five pounds. Ready and relax. Is it 15 or 20? Five seconds, or sorry. <laughs> Five seconds now till the last set of push ups for this round. Ready? And here we go. Halfway. And relax. Good job. Okay. Into our last group here. No, no, bridge. Oh, sorry, last bridge. My fault. That's why we have all these people around. Keep my screw ups to a minimum. Ready? Go. Halfway there. Three, two, one, and relax. Good. Okay. Now we're into the last group. No. Last set of exercises, then we're going to go through them again. Um, um, yeah, so side plank, we're going to switch at 15 seconds there. So you can either go on your elbow or arm extended with those, however you want to do it. When we switch sides, we're just going to be rolling right over. The clock will keep running. Okay. Um, RDL, it's just a kind of a half deadlift, I guess. And you can do this either with weight, if you have the appropriate weight, or you can stand on a band. Stand on a band, spread your feet to about shoulder, uh, hip width apart, and we're just hinging down, standing back up. I, what I like about the band is it kind of keeps your hands back by your shins instead of allowing them to get out here. So you want to keep your hands back, hinging down, feel that stretch in the back of your legs, and use that stretch to stand up. So again, if you're using a, a kettlebell or a dumbbell, you'll be holding it right here, hinging down. Pretty uh, standard deadlift there. Uh, if you're using a band, if you're using a band, you can step on it and uh, adjust the resistance that way. Okay? 
So first thing. Two legs. Uh, first one, side plank. So we'll get started with your elbow, elbow or hand on the ground. We're gonna go in five seconds. Ready and go. Remember, whatever foot is on top, that foot will be set forward. So you should have two feet on the floor here. Top foot will be in front. Three, two, one, switch sides. The clock's gonna keep running. And time. Good. Getting ready for the deadlift. Ready? Three, two, one. Here we go. Should feel all the work in your butt and the back of your legs here not getting tired in your low back muscles. If you're getting tired in your low back muscles, it means your heart, you're um, hunched over a little bit there. So you need to get your chest out, your butt out. Three, two, one, relax. Back to the side plank. Five seconds. Two, one, and here we go. Top foot's gonna be in front. Hips should be in line with your uh, shoulders, between your shoulders and your ankles. Five seconds. Switch. Try to alternate which side you start on with these. And relax. Back to the deadlift here. Remember, after our third set of these, we're going right back to the top. We're going to do two sets of the three pairs. That part goes pretty quickly. And here we go. Deadlift for 30 seconds. Keep your chest out, could be melt, melt like a candle. There you go. Unlock your knees, baby. There you go. <laughs> Five seconds. Four, three, two, and one. Good job. Last time through this pair. Let me go back to the top. Five seconds. Two, one. Here we go. Lower your hips down. Lower your hips. There you go. Lower your shoulders back. Switch. Five seconds. Three, two, one. And relax. Okay, we're gonna take uh, 30 seconds. Oh yeah, we're gonna, dang. <laughs> All right, one set of deadlifts. Ready, and here we go. Three, two, one, and good. Relax. Okay, so we'll take uh, about 45 seconds rest here so we can get the clock reset. Now we're back to the top. So remember this one, uh, we're leading off with a tough start here. Reverse lunges, alternating reverse lunges and lateral bound. 
15 seconds left to rest. Okay, so we're only doing this twice through. So go one, then the other, one, then the other. And we work our way down that way. We call it a day. Five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Reverse lunges, here we go. Halfway. Remember, knee out over pinky toe. Five seconds. And time. Good lateral bound. Step or hop side to side. Five seconds rest. Ready? And go. Halfway. And time. Last set of reverse lunges for the day. Three, two, one. Here we go. Halfway. Stick with a coup. <coughs> Time. Lateral bounds. Five seconds, last ones of these. And here we go, 30 seconds. Toe to ankle. Stay in that skating stride, Cole. Halfway there. Five seconds. And rest. Good. All right. On the floor for the next ones. We'll take 30 seconds here. Push ups. Great. Combined with the row hold. Ten seconds. Five. And here we go. Halfway there. So long. Time. All right, rolling right over. And press those elbows down through the floor. Five seconds. Two, one, here we go. Remember, just trying to lift those shoulder blades up off the floor. Make sure your belly is, or your back isn't arching up. All that work's going to be done with your back of your arms and your shoulder blades. Halfway there. Five seconds left. Three, two, one. Relax. Okay, 10 seconds till the last set of push ups for the day. I'd let you skip that one. 
Oh. <laughs> Ready? Here we go. Ten seconds. And time. Good job. Rolling over last set of row holds. Three, two, one. Here we go. Driving those shoulder blades together, pushing down and back into the floor. Trying to take as much weight off your shoulders as you can. Halfway there. Last five seconds, do something you're proud of here. And relax. Okay, into the last group here. Good lifts end. Okay, we'll wait 15 seconds here. We're taking 30 seconds in between each group. Five seconds to go. We've got a 15 second side plank. Ready? Here we go. Five seconds. Two, one, switch. Clock's gonna keep going. And relax. Hey, deadlift for RDLs. Using a band or a weight. Five seconds. And go. Here we go. <laughs> Halfway. Three, two, one, relax. Okay, last pair for the day. Two, one, here we go. Switch. Five seconds. And relax. Last set of deadlifts for the day. Two, one, and here we go. Halfway. Two, one, and relax. Okay, well done everybody. That's a good Saturday for you. 20, 26 minutes of work there after uh, about a 10 minute warm up. So um, great stuff. Keep up the good work. Nobody leave yet. I got to take attendance. Hold on.
I don't want to cheat anybody. All right. Dory. All right. Who got there? Brian, were you participating or just watching? Participating? All right. That a boy. Good job. Uh, Diane. Susan's on with us this morning. Deb. Ted, Kelly, and that's all. Okay. Hey, oh, yeah, you got, you got her. You got Dory. Okay. I got Dory. Yeah. yeah. Okay. okay. All right, guys. Well, have an awesome day. Looks like it's going to be nice looking outside, maybe a little chilly, but um, yeah, enjoy it today. I think it's supposed to rain the rest of the weekend. So. Mm -hmm. Okay. Enjoy that. But uh, have a great day. Thanks for stopping in. We'll talk to you soon. Thanks. Bye.